What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, super excited to be getting Trick Roomy with you guys with this Torterra Trick Roomy today. Now, Torterra evolves from one of my favorite Pokemons of all time, or I should say my favorite starter of all time, Turtwig. Turtwig's just so dope, so I absolutely love Torterra. But we're rocking out with Torterra alongside with Heavy Trick Room Squad. We got Screamtail, Torkoal, Primarina, and Didi Hatterene. You guys gotta love it. But this Torterra right here is made to be bulky and to stall out the match. It's got shell armor, so it cannot take no critical hits. And on top of that, it's got leftovers for HP recovery. It's got iron defense to set up that nice defense boost. It's got body press to build off that iron defense boost. And on top of that, it's got leech seed. Set up the leech seed, get more HP at the end of every single turn. I absolutely love this move. And I love this setup with Torterra. Like I mentioned, we got Torkoal. Torkoal is going to be great for the sun. Yeah, Indeedee and Hatterene to go for follow me and Trick Room. And then on top of that, you got Screamtail. Set up some screens, get rocking with Torterra, help him bulk out even more. We love it so much. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be Primarina, a nice solid special attacker with, with Liquid Voice and Throat Spray as its item. You got Calm Mind for those boosts, Hyper Voice, Moon Blast, and Protect. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you like it up and subscribe to the channel if you guys want to see more. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing Torterra in Trick Room. We're hopping into our first match. We're going up against a pretty standard meta team here, right? They got Tornadus, they got Ogre Pond, Fluttermane, Incineroar, Raging Bolt, and Shan Pal. So, pretty strong team here. I definitely got to set up the Trick Room. And who do I want to use for that? I mean, Terrain's going to be good for us. Could go in with Indeedee, and I could also go in with Screamtail. That's actually something I kind of like with potentially Torterra and Expanding Force Hatterene in the back end. Correct, right? Not bad. It's either going to be you or Torkoal. I kind of don't even want to bring in Torkoal just in case they want to go into, say, what is that even called? Like a rain dance with Tornadus? I bet she's running rain dance. So yeah, I'm going to go Hatterene here. So my whole plan is here to probably drop a follow me, pop a trick room, and then after that, just go straight into Reflex, Light Screens, follow me again, and then wait for Ndidi to die out, bring out a Pokemon like Hatterene, get chipping up with that, and then have Tor Terra for late game back in. Something I really do like. They do have a decent amount of physical attackers, so honestly, Tor Terra could be good, especially if I get that defense boost. I know it is four times weak to ice, so we might have to terrestrialize it, but I like where we're sitting. I do like where we're sitting. So they're gonna end up going into both of these guys. I'm going to set up a Reflect or Light Screen. What's my best bet here? Probably Reflect first and foremost, right? Definitely, right? We are going to get that special defense boost. I think for sure we have to go into follow me trick room here. Let me just go from there. I could actually just trick room maybe with Indeedy here, to be honest. Uh, actually, Indeedy doesn't have trick room, but you know what? I think that's fine. I think that's fine. I think we just go follow me trick room here. I think it's a pretty standard setup play. We get this cooking and we kind of go from there. Cool. So trick room going to come out here from us. No doubt about it. Unless they have something crazy. And they're just going to set up a Rain Ants and go for an Ivy Cudgel, which is no big deal. It really isn't. It really is not. It really is not. So Ivy Cudgel going to fly through here, do some big time damage in the rain, and get that crit too. It gets the crit, it's going to KO in DD no matter what. Which is no big deal, because now I just get to set up the Trick Room. And on top of that, I get to bring out Indeedee. Well, not Indeedee. Hatterene. Hatterene. Hatterene going to come out here. Um, We definitely want to set up a Reflect here. I think it's our best bet. And we want to probably pop an Expanding Force, correct? So Expanding Force is going to fly through here. We're going to set up the Reflect just to neutralize some damage coming out from Ogre Pond. And we'll go from there. So Indeedee did its job setting up the Follow Me, helping the Trick Room get set up here. But now we need to get off some big time damage. We really need to start getting after it, right? So if I can set up these screens, maybe pick up a KO or two with Hatterene. Have Torterra come in the back end. I like it a lot. Especially still with Terra. Especially still with Terra. So Expanded Force is going to fly here, stab, KO in Tornadus, no problem. So that's big time damage. Plus, we get off this Reflect now. So Reflect is here. Beautiful. Beautiful. So Expanded Force is just flying. Got the Tour Terror for late game, which I love. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Especially if we can get off some, maybe some Leech Seeds. It just works out so well. So now Incineroar comes out here. Not that big of a deal, considering we have Reflect up already. Intimidate's not going to do much, and you can't fake me out, which is beautiful. 
So I could end up terrestrializing if I want to, maybe into straight steel. That's not too bad, but do we think they have Shen Pao in the back end? That's the real question, right? That's my real question at hand. Do we think they have Shen Pao in the back end? I don't think they do, but I could see them having Shen Pao. Like, I would... I kind of want Terrasalize here. But we're not going to do it. We're just going to pop a Dazzling Gleam. And on top of that, we're actually just going to double down with Dazzling Gleam. I like that the best. I definitely do like that the best. So they're going to withdraw Ogre Pound. We get to see their final Pokemon. Who's it going to be? It's going to be Shen Pao. So good thing I didn't Terrasalize. We might need that Terra a little bit later. But Shen Pao is going to come in here with two fairy moves coming out on the field. Maybe we pick up a KO onto it. Oh, yeah, you are gone. You are gone. Bad swap for you. Real bad swap for Shen Pao to come in here. Knockoff's going to fly through here. Reflect helping this man out tremendously. And you're going to take off my Twisted Spoon. How dare you take off my Twisted Spoon. But doubling down with this lovely fairy move. Takes out the Shen Pao. Another force to bring back out. So Ogre Pao going to come out here. Um, We don't need Light Screen at all. We just don't need it. It's just not need it. And from here, how many turns are left in Trick Room? Two. So two turns left in Trick Room leads me to think they're probably going into a Spiky Shield here. I would think. They got a Spiky Shield either this turn or next turn. Do I just double with Expanding Force? I think that's our play. I think we go Expanding Force and we just go nice little Dazzling Gleam. Spiky Shield, Spiky Shield. Yeah, it's whatever. That's fine. No big deal. This is where I wish I had Parish Song on Screamtail. It'd be so perfect. It'd be so perfect. I just set up that Parish Song and I say Night Night. But they do end up using the Spiky Shield here. They might try to go for a double Spiky Shield. But Knockoff's gonna fly here and just take off for our Light Fly. No big deal. No big deal. So we might not even be used to our Terror this turn. Or this game. Might not even happen. It might not even happen. So Incineroar's taking some nice damage. Expanding Force, we're gonna hit it again. And we are just going to shoot another Dazzling Gleam. They might go for a double spike shoot. It is a possibility. It definitely is a possibility. But still, Torterra chilling in the back end. Love it so much. And we should be thriving. Like I said, Shen Pao was our, our, uh, our only problem. And now that I got rid of that, I had Terra anyway. But I still have Terra. But now that we got rid of that, it's looking pretty beautiful for us, right? Mwah, it's looking lovely, but they're gonna finally terrestrialize. Definitely Ogre Pond, right? Yeah, they're getting that special defense boost all day. And they want to get after it. So they're going straight water, which I actually don't know my Tor Terror's terror type. I kinda wanna know. He's gonna embody aspect up. Spanning Force still should chunk up some damage, but we don't have our twisted spoon either. Which is a slight issue. Definitely a slight issue. Definitely a slight issue. And party shots can come through. I got magic bounce. Oh my god, he, we magic bounce that. <laughs> That's so funny, man. A lot of people don't know about that. Parting shot bounces back, and I swap out. I don't like that. Now I lose my Torterra. Are you kidding me? I lose my Torterra here. There's no doubt in my mind. You're dropping a Ivy Cudgel into here. Are you kidding me? I'm going to lose my Torterra. I'm losing my Torterra here because you made a bad play. The Azim Gleam still flies here, chipping up a little bit of damage. Watch, Horn Leech. Okay, actually, that works perfectly. That works perfectly. He ends up going for a Horn Leech. The Horn Leech coming out here. Um, Rain is going to stop here as well. I am still going to Terrasalize into water because I doubt you're going for a Horn Leech here. And I think my best bet would be maybe do I Iron Defense up? Do I Iron Defense up with Terra Water? They're both physical attackers. I think we do. I think we terrestrialize. We go for iron defense. And we try to set up another trick room. That could be definitely very good for us. Let's see what they end up doing. Because we have reflect up. I'm going to terrestrialize just in case they want to drop the flare blitz. If they double down the screen tail, they double down the screen tail. But Incineroar is minus one on attack. We got to remember that. It parting shot itself with the magic bounce. That is just awesome for us. We do have reflect up for, I think, two or three more turns. Two or three more turns, which is good. But we're going to end up using our Terrasalization. I understand that Horn Leech is going to be super effective. But if I can just get off an Iron Defense with a Reflect, we should be pretty bulky on that defensive side. This is just for, like, close measures. And there's the Ivy Cudgel. So this is exactly why I did this. Ivy Cudgel can come through here. 
We can't be critted. We got shell armor. And he's going to go for a knockoff. He's going to take off our left over. It's kind of scary. But you allow me to get off an iron defense and another trick room. And another trick room. So Torterra out and about. I don't have leftovers ready to go, but still, I can just buy the press up. Now. That pretty much wraps it up, right? Correct? It's looking pretty good. We have Hattori in the back end now. And now I can just go body press on to you. And... I could honestly just protect this turn. But I don't think you die. I don't I don't think you die. I could actually go after Ogre Pond. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go after Ogre Pond here. I'm going to go after Ogre Pond, and I am just going to pop a Dazzling Gleam. Battle was cancelled. So once they saw Trick Room set up, they knew it was over. GG's to our opponent. Match number one goes to us and our Torterra. Moving on to our second match, would love to use Torterra a little bit more here, but we're going up against a Reggie Ice Snow team. Now, Torkoal is going to be our friend. It's our only way of weather control, so we're definitely going to want to keep them under control with that snow. They also have a Suing Arcanine. Four Intimidates. On top of that, they're rocking out with a Rillaboom. Who else is that? Uh, Iron Bundle and Amunga. So, Torkoal, we're going to bring you in in the back end just to be able to swap in and... Uh, get weather control but i think we're gonna lead this scream tail again i actually really like this scream tail it does have trick room and i could also lead it with torterra which i don't mind at all i don't mind at all so i'm gonna go into both of them i'm gonna go torterra in the back end and last but not least we're just gonna bring hatterene for late game or do we go like prima arena this prima arena should be pretty slow here as well 72 i do like it with calm mind and all that i do like its typing here as well but i kind of want something to take out the robo and honestly we have torkoal so i'm cool with that so no Indeedee, no Hatterene, this is the squad we're bringing. Looking to go 2-0, looking for back-to-back -back wins, and uh, trying to get after with Torterra. Torterra was actually doing pretty good in match number one. Came in the back end, set up that iron defense, and they just didn't give us a chance. We were going to body press out, pretty much win that match. They didn't take off my leftovers, though, but I was bulky enough with the reflecting uh, and the iron defense to really just start getting after it. So they're going to end up going into these two. I am going to set up, uh, mm, I could hard swap here into Torkoal and set up a trick room mm, yeah we'll do that I don't like the whole ice type Pokemon here I really don't so I'm gonna set up the trick room here simple swap out into a Torkoal and we're just gonna not let him set up a war belt not let him get that weather control so that's gonna be my play rock slide is definitely a little scary but I'd rather swap to a terror here in the Torkoal and just just go from there because once I set up trick room screen tail at like one, I think it's at like 110, 111 speed. It still should be able to get off a reflector with Light Scream, which would be massive for a squad. So let's see what they do. Maybe they'll bite the bullet. Maybe they'll go for a Blizzard here. Maybe they'll go for a Flare Blitz. Flare Blitz looking a little scary, but smart swap for them, reading our swap. And they're going to bring out Reggie Ice. So Reggie Ice now comes out here. And I wonder what they're cooking up here. Taking away that weather right away. Taking it away. So they're probably going to swap back into nine tails next turn which i mean again i don't really mind i don't really mind and we're gonna get this person this is boost giving us a boost in special defense which is actually pretty big pretty big flare blitz gonna fly through it goes straight after the torkoal and torkoal soaks it up pretty well pretty well it takes some recoil damage as well all right so trick room out and about we got the rooms full trick he could e speed me that's looking a little scary but they are definitely going to hard swap probably back into they're probably going to uh, hard swap back into Nine Tails. And to be honest, who do I go after here with this flamethrower? I think I still erupt no matter what. I think eruption still does a decent amount of damage. I think I erupt no matter what. So that's going to be my play. I'm going to erupt here. We're a little bit above half. So eruption still does big time damage, especially in the sun. But I don't think sun's going to be. I don't. And then we're just going to set up this light screen. Turtle is here. I love Torkoal, man. Torkoal's so sick, man. Just so sick. So there's the withdrawal of Arcanine. He's going to bring back out Nine Tails. Again, I don't really mind. I know Eruption is still going to hit rather hard. Not going to do crazy damage like it normally does, but still. I like that damage output. So Protosynthesis is gone. And he is going to end up terrestrializing the Edgy Ice into water, I believe. I believe this is a straight water play. But still, from here, um,. I just can't really allow them to set up a war belt, right? So with the combination of Eruption, you might have Terra Blast, which could be scary. Terra Blast could be scary, but Eruption's still doing, like I said, solid damage. And let's see what Reggie Ice does. I get a crit on that. 
That was a crit damage. She's gonna go for Terra Blast. Ooh. That definitely KOs Torkoal, right? Most likely. Yeah, so that KOs Torkoal. We can't let him set up the war, which I like the damage output that we got on the turtle. But now I get to set up this Light Screen, which is gorgeous. So get off the Light Screen. Um, and I could end up just sending a Terra type into you, right? I could end up setting a Terra type into Tor uh, Torterra, which is probably the best, our best bet. Maybe set up a Leech Seed. Do we think that Daz and Gleam could KO? Potentially, right? You know what? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go Daz and Gleam. I'm going to go Leech Seed into the Reggie A slot. I'm going to go Leech Seed. I'm hoping Daz and Gleam can KO. I don't know if it can. I don't know if it can, especially with Ninetales in the snow. That could be scary. But if it does KO and we get off this Leech Seed, we start setting up really, really well, right? We start to get after it. And I like this Terra type. I love the Terra type of water here. Especially up against the ice type Pokemon. As long as none of you guys are rocking Freeze Dry, right? That'd be scary. But you guys are just gonna protect. Man. That hurts soul. Daz and Gleam, I need you here. I need you here, Daz and Gleam. I need you. More than ever. I don't think it's got enough mustard in the tank. But I need it. If I need it anytime, it's now. It's now, Daz and Gleam. I need you. No Roar Rails allowed. My girl, Scream Tail coming in clutch. So that's a big time KO there. Taking out the Nine Tails, I would have loved to get that Leech Seed off. And you're just gonna get some Ice Body recovery. Dang, yo, Iron Defense would have been sweet there then. Iron Defense would have been so good. So now Arcanine comes out here. I don't mind it. I have Earth Power. Earth Power is four times super effective. Man. That's gonna be a play. Just Earth Power that now. Right? Don't I have Earth Power? I might not. No, I don't. Why do I think I have Earth Power? I have it on you, that's why. Yeah, Iron Defense might be our play here, especially with Reggie Ice chilling there. So I'm going to try to set up this Reflect just for later terms and just set up this Iron Defense. I got Leftovers on, so that's good. And I outspeed, so Iron Defense coming out and about. Plus two right off the rip here. Let's see what Reggie Bolt wants to do. Reggie Bolt. Reggie Ice uses Thunderbolt. And we get off this Reflect. So cool. I got Iron Defense. I'm bulking up a little bit. Leech Seed definitely going to be our friend next turn. What are you going for? Rock Slizzle. Who's dodging that? Screamtail dodges that. And my turtle eats that up. No problem. So Ice Body going to come out here. Um, I do get leftovers. Leech Seed probably our best bet. Right now, right? Into the Reggie Ice slot. And we'll slow play this. So I'll go for Gleam here. And I'm just going to go for a Leech Seed. Right into the Reggie Ice slot. Try to set that up. You better not protect it, man. You better not protect it. I got plus two on the fence here. I'm ready to go. I just need a nice little leech seed set up just for HP recovery. If I get a leech seed off here, get some HP at the end of the turn, get the leftovers HP, and then I can just body press next turn. So they're going to go after Screamtail, which is not a big deal. I do end up landing the leech seed. Beautiful. Love leech seed, man. Just such a cool move. And he's going to go for a Thunderbolt, which we soak. We soak actually decently well. But that's something I'm going to connect again. And we're going to have to start slow playing this. Voice body, you're going to get that back. I'm going to get the, my leftovers. I'm going to also get my Leech Seed. And they might think that I'm protecting this turn. They might think. We'll see. We love Leech Seed, man. We love Leech Seed. So if I can get rid of this Hisuian Arcanine... My HP will be flying. So, Trick Room's going here. I'm going to pop another one. And do I go for a body press here? I doubt they double down into... I doubt they double down into what's called... Into the turtle here, right? I doubt they double down into the turtle. I'm going to attack the Arcanine here. So there's E speed. They might double down into the turtle. They might. They are. They do. I should soak that, though. I do. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Because now I get off body press... I KO, Reggie Ice cannot swap anymore. And on top of that, I reset up another Trick Room. So the Tour Terror Squad getting after it. I got Leech Seed going. I'm probably just going to protect this turn. I got to check how many turns are left in my screens. And we'll go from there. See you later, Snow. See you later, Snow. We love it. We love it. Thanks for the HP. I can protect. I can get that much back again. Get back so much. It's awesome. And your ice body is gone, which is huge. No more ice body for you. No more ice body for you. 
So Rillaboom is the final. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> oh, this is the final Pokemon. This actually, we don't like it. We are kind. We are boosted pretty well. So, oh no. Let's see how many turns are left in screens. Plenty of turns. Plenty of turns. So from here, we're just gonna go for a dazzling gleam. I'm gonna get back some HP by just protecting here, and maybe they might just double down into me. You never know. And I get Grassy Terrain HP back, so we get three sources of HP here. There's Grassy Guy. Please double down. That'd be awesome if you double down. We get three sources of HP. We're gonna get leftovers. They double down. That's gorgeous. We get leftovers, Grassy Terrain, and Leech Seed. That's huge. So. Screamtail's not doing that much damage. We're looking just to stall out a little bit here. Get back a bunch of HP. Oh, they're so upset. They're so upset at this. Do I go for a double protect? Do I go for a double protect here? That's the real question. I'm back into the green here. They're gonna double down into me. It's a, that's a little bit of a problem, right? It's a little bit of a problem. I'm back into the green. I'm back into the green. Um, okay. So from here, we're slamming another Dazzling Gleam here. Uh, body press? Into Roll Boom? Yeah, we need to do as much damage as we can in the Roll Boom. The Grass Guy gonna fly. Can we soak this? Oh, we might be able to soak a, a Thunderbolt here as well. We like the damage there. This, this match is actually closer than I thought. Thunderbolt, we do soak. Dazzling Gleam cooking. I get back so much HP. It's massive. We definitely gotta protect here. We definitely gotta protect. We're slowly chipping up this uh, Reggie Ice. I just gotta keep my eye on the turns of Trick Room, all that good stuff, right? I have Pre Marina in the back end, which I don't really like. So if we can actually just waste out some of these terrain turns, that could be big here as well. So protect, definitely a call, right? We, we have to protect. Late Screen's almost out. Reflect's almost gone. How many turns of Trick Room? Two. So we're just gonna slam another Dazzle Gleam here. And we're just going to protect here. Even though I kind of want to go for an iron defense and read that they're reading our protect. I just got to play it smart here, right? So we're is real bulky. Such a bulky Pokemon. But we're going to lose uh, Light Screen here, which is tough. And they, did, they do end up reading the protect. I knew it, too. I knew it. I know. They end up going for a Blizzard. Now. Blizzard flies through here. Blizzard's out and about. Dazzling connecting. A body press and Dazzleam should finish off this roll. Just so much HP. Torterra is awesome. I love it. I love it so much. I love it so much. Just, just, oh my god. HP on HP on HP. It's just taking in so many hits. Now imagine this thing had like Rage Fist. That'd be awesome. <laughs> like, because the amount of hits I take, I've taken this match is crazy. Are we back in the green? Sure are. We sure are back in the green. So back in the green, we'll check turns again. Light screen is gone. Um, do I set it up? Yeah, we definitely have to set it up. So I'm going to set up. Do I set it up? I think we just double down and we look to get rid of Robum here. I really want Robum dead. I really want Robum dead. We eat up this grass cut all day. We actually might eat up this Thunderbolt. Actually, no, Light Screen's not here. But Body Press comes out here. KO in the Robum. That's all we need. Once this Robum is gone, I know we can win this match with Pre Marina. Beautiful. The Thunderbolt is going to finish it off. No more light screen. Torterra gone. But yay. Torterra lit it up. Match number two was all about Torterra. This little iron defense moves to get those leech seeds cooking. But a big time KO, honestly, from Screamtail. Big time KO from Screamtail onto the Alolan Ninetales. That was huge. That was huge. That's what I really needed. That's what I really needed. So Trick Room is gone now. Primarina is going to come out here. And honestly, Primarina might be... It's at like 70-ish speed, right? Give or take a few, right? 72, I should say. Let me actually check. And it actually still... Yeah, it is actually, it's actually at 72 on the news. Actually should still be able to outspeed this Reggie Ice. But I think they just cancel battle, right? No, they don't. That's when gets cooking, bringing this thing down to red. And yeah, Spring Arena does outspeed. So Trick Room actually ran out at the perfect time. But there's last KO, 2-0. and oh. Let's go hop into our third match. So guys, I'm actually 7-2 in the brand new season. Almost at top 1,000. Pretty dope. Pretty dope. I know you guys like to see my rank sometimes, so I'm going to start trying to put it in the uh, videos more and more. Every here and there. But hey, 7-2, I love it. And I'm pretty sure I lagged out in one of these matches, right? 
I don't know. I kind of forget. Cause I'm pretty sure we went two and one in our first video in the new season. Then we went three and zero, and now we're two and zero. So honestly, that adds up to seven. But the, the second loss, I believe I lagged out. I believe I did. I believe I did. But um, we're looking for a trainer here, and I don't think they can find anybody as good as me. I'm killing it right now. I'm lighting it up, yo. Tour tire. This seems so much fun, especially rocking out with Trick Room. I feel like I always play decently well with Trick Room Squad, so let's keep it cooking. Let's keep it cooking. So final team, we're going up against somebody who's 1,300. This will put us in top 1,000 if we win, but we're going up against a tough squad right here. Flame Ogre Pond. Hearth, Flame Ogre Pond with Urshifu, Fluttermain for Rigoraf, Incineroar, and last but not least, they do have Rill Boom. So Trick Room is going to be our friend, but at the same time, Trick Room is going to be tough to actually set up considering they have for Rigoraf. Now, from here, I could potentially go into a Pokemon like Primarina and maybe get a Torrent Spray boost. And I could go into, like, Screen Town, because I definitely like Screens here. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into both of them. I am going to bring the Turtle in the back end. I do like the Turtle a lot. And last but not least, I think we just go Hatterene. I think Hatterene gets a bit more value out of, uh, or rather than Torterra here in this matchup. So, I like it. We're looking for that 3-0 perfect record. Come on, man. And last match, too easy. We got that turtle set up. This is actually a double turtle team. I just realized that. I love turtles, man. Turtles are so sick. They're so sick. But yeah, this is double turtle team. Torterra and and the Torkoal. But then I'm going Incineroar here, which is okay. I'm a little scared here. Um, definitely got to set up the Shrikin. Definitely got to set up the Shrikin. No doubt about it. They could fake out the screen tail. Definitely an option. I could go for maybe like a double protect here. But I'm gonna actually not gonna go, go for any protects. I'm just gonna go for Trick Room and Calm Mind. The fake out is gonna go into Pre Marina slot. That's totally fine. And you're gonna have Calm Mind as well. The big time setup move there. Especially up against my special attackers. I'm not gonna be able to set up this Trick Room. The Trick Room coming out and about. I could actually hard swap Pre Marina if I want to. Or not pre marina, I could hard swap screen tail. That's not a bad play for me, to be honest. To be honest. I know Hyper Voice isn't gonna do that much if I hard swap into Torkoal. But I kinda wanna pop this Throat Spray. Not gonna sit here and lie. I kinda wanna pop Throat Spray. But now we're gonna go Moon Blast here. I'm gonna hard swap into Torkoal. We're gonna get right after it. We are gonna get right after it. Torkoal coming in here. Actually, oh, dude, I should have set up a light screen. What am I doing? What am I doing? I should have set up a light screen. Bad play by me. But still, I like having Torkoal out here. I should have set up the screens, though. Big mistake on my end. Screens are our friends. Man, dude, I wanted screens. Luckily, you're protecting. That's big time for us. And what are you going for? Knockoff here? Parting shot, potentially? It would go into the pre marina slot, if anything. Yeah. So they're gonna party shot out here. That's totally fine. I can hard swap back into my flutter, or not my flutter main, my scream tail. And they're probably gonna go into maybe Rillaboom. That's definitely an option. Another fake out user. They are gonna go into Rillaboom. So they're going into another fake out user. Looking real scary. Um, I'm just gonna protect the turtle here. I'm gonna hard swap into scream tail. Pre marina actually gets back some HP. What's the turtle's terror type? It's gotta be fire, right? Yeah, it's fire. So from here, we're gonna swap back into Screamtail. And I'm just gonna protect the turtle, right? It would be smart for them to swap back into Incineroar. That would be a game-changing play. That would probably put them over the top here if they do that, but I doubt it, right? I think I think the fake out does come into the turtle slot, right? I think fake out has to come into the turtle slot. It's a must, right? It's an absolute must. You have to pick out the turtle, the turtle here. You have to. They're cool. They're not swapping. They could go for a U-turn, which could get scary. And there's the fake out in turtle. So that's exactly what we wanted. They are wasting Trick Room turns rather well. But this turn, I'm terrestrializing. I'm eruptioning. And he's going to double down to the turtle. So do I go Light Screen or do I go Reflect here? I think I set up Light Screen here. This Real Boom, I'm not really too worried about. And I'm then to slides and just drop the Eruption. Cool. So that's going to be our play here. Get the Turtle back out of here. Smart swaps on our end, though. We're swapping in and out. They're swapping in and out. That's how you know it's a good battle. 
But Turtle, with the fire tower, we get the chandelier with candles on its head. The little candelier, we'll call it. And they're going to try slice as well. Probably roll boom straight fire type, but I still like the damage output coming out here, right? I still like the damage output. Poison tower type, okay. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. A little poison action. And protect comes out from Flutter Man. So we still have one turn left in Trick Room. I do get to set up a side screen, which is pretty big. Eruption gonna come out here and can this just dump on Robin? Be massive if I just take this thing to the house. If I take you to the house? I don't. Oh man. I don't. And you're able to U-turn out, which is not that big of a deal. Maybe a little bit. But I can put a i I'm gonna I'm gonna put my YouTube channel on this. Actually, I can't, because if I lose this bet, then it's going to be tough. But I think they don't go after the turtle here. I think they predict we're protecting here. I'm going to say they don't fake out the turtle. That's going to be my call. I'm going to say they don't fake out the turtle, and they go after Screamtail. They think we're just going to protect you, right? So I'm going to set up a reflect, and I'm still going to erupt here. I'm still going to erupt. I'm still popping Eruption. There's no way they fake me out here. They do. Are you kidding me, man? Try to make a hard read. Doesn't work out. It's a good thing I did not bet my YouTube channel on that. Reflect out and about. We do have Light Stream, which is good. Um, I can protect the turtle next turn now and set up another trick with me. They end up going into Moon Blast here. So I got the screens up, which is huge. And I'm going to try to set up another trick room and just protect the turtle. If I can get off the second trick room, it's night night. It is night night. And honestly, I should just go trick from here instead of protecting the turtle. I should just drop an eruption. Right? Because they double down on turtle, that's fine. We get off another trick room. Yeah, see? See, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. That's some big time damage. Can we soak a flare blitz here? Can we soak a flare blitz? That's the real question. They end up going after turtle. Okay, that's fine. So you just allow me to get off trick room and drop an eruption? That's cool. That's cool. That's fine by me. That's fine by me. I get off both. I get off both. So big time damage, doing half to the Fluttermane, which is great. Which is great. Now I get off the Trick Room again. So two turns, of, or two sets of Trick Room. I did that in the last battle, too. That's crazy how they're just allowing this. But Screamtail is so bulky, it's just so good. But Sun is gone. Oh, Sun is gone. That's no bueno. Sun being gone is not good. Sun being gone is not good. Not good at all. I'm going to go Dazzle Gleam here. Do I just rip flamethrower? I know you're bulked up. I'm gonna rip flamethrower still. I was gonna earth power too. I was gonna earth power too. This is this is a good matchup here. The flamethrower with the block. I don't have my charcoal anymore, which is kind of tough. And they're gonna party shot into a So that gives me a reason to swap it next turn. Um, so I'm gonna end up swapping that thing. Keep spamming dazzling gleams, and they're probably gonna go maybe back into roll boom. Just for another fake out option? Or are they gonna show their final Pokemon? I don't know, but yo, such a good matchup. Robum's gonna come back out here. The Robum's gonna take a little bit of Dazzling Gleam damage. They're gonna set this terrain again. Dazzling Gleam really not gonna do pretty much anything to this thing. Honestly, it probably gets back more HP than I'm about to deal to it. Let's be honest here. Stream Tail's not hitting hard at all. And we still all we still have all four Pokemon, which is rather crazy. could actually take out Rollboom with the option. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stay in here another turn. Actually, you can fake me out. No, 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 no. Let's, let's just... I don't wanna go for a double swap here. Primarina and Hatterene? Ooh. Ooh, that could be good. Actually, no, it can't be good. Alright, we gotta keep Scream Tail on the field. So, we're just gonna spam another Dazzling Lane. Now it's gonna be time to swap the Torkoal, and we're just gonna go into Hatterene and slot. A little bit of Hatterene action. So we want the sun back. We want our special attack back. And they're just playing this one really, really well. We have plenty of turns left or in our trick room, but they are just stopping. Dazzling Gleam is going to connect, doing about negative six. And Shadow Ball is going to fly into the side. Now from here, you die out. I can bring back out the turtle. That's huge. And... I think we're sitting in a pretty solid position at this point, right? We eruption to KO the Rollboom. 
And we double down into the Flutter Mage, just get rid of that. Actually, I'd probably just pop a Dazzling Gleams in case he wants to swap into maybe like Incineroar here. Yeah, that's our best bet. That's our best bet. So Drought back out and about. We don't have our Charcoal, but still, Eruption doing great damage here. Dazzling Gleams going to jump on top of this. And we're going to go from there. So which all is Real Boom? Who are you going into? Incineroar? Probably, most likely, right? But this Dazzling Gleam should still chunk up some damage. I think we only have like one turn left to trick him. We're probably protecting the Flutter Man, right? I hope not, but you probably are. Let's be honest here. Let's be honest here. You're probably protecting the Flutter Main. Yep. A little bit of protect action from the Flutter Main. Hoping maybe we can KO this thing. No shot, right? No shot. Wow, yo. Round of applause for opponent. This is such a good matchup. I think we should be able to KO Incineroar here. No problem, right? No problem, Incineroar going. You're going to force to bring it back out, Roll Boom. Yep, bye bye, Incineroar. So cool. We first KO of the game? I believe that is absurd, yo. Such, yo, I love matches like this. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying it. If you guys are, make sure you like it up. Subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. And let me know in the comment section down below if you are here. Give me a little bit of hashtag third and final battle squad in the comment section down below. Let's me know. You guys hung out this long with me. I really appreciate you guys. So let me know. Real Boom comes back out here down low on HP. Um. Check the turtle. How many turns are left in Trick Room? Let's actually check. Last turn. Not good. We have to attack here. We have to attack here. We're actually just going to protect the turtle. And I'm just going to go for an expanding force. Do I KO Robum or do I try to get after you? I think we just go after Robum here. Take it out. Wish I had Psychic Terrain here. So, protecting the turtle. We're gonna go for fake out and turtle, so good call for us. We're gonna get rid of the Rilla Boom, and now Fluttermane is still a problem, man. Fluttermane's just a problem. We have no way of setting Trick Room back up, and Fluttermane's plus one on special defense and special attack. Hopefully, it's double down and turtle. That'd be massive if you're double down and turtle. But I think you're going for Shadow Ball, correct? Yeah. Shadow Ball flies through here. I think that KOs us, right? We do have Light Screen up, so we do survive. But now they're sitting here where they have to choose who they want to KO. Torval's back up to full health, which means Eruption's hitting hard. We still have Primarina. Trick Room's gone. Um, Dazzling Gleam would finish us off, so I don't know. Let's see who their final Pokemon is. It's going to be Ogre Pond. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. I don't know how to feel about that. And they Terra yet? Did you Terra yet? They did. They Terra Poison, which is massive. So I am just going to go for... I'm just gonna go for an eruption here. Keep it going in the sun. And I'm gonna double down into Fluttermane. A little double down action into Fluttermane. Maybe I shouldn't have went for an eruption. Maybe I should just went for a flamethrower into an Ogre Pond. But I like eruption here because if one Pokemon protects, we get off big damage onto the other one. Which I think it's most likely happening, right? Now, Grass, you guys are gonna fly your KO us. I don't know about this one. Shadow Ball flying through here. How much damage can this eruption do for Shadow Ball? Again, Light Screen's still here. Should help us out. Mmm, half HP. I don't know. Torkoal Terror Fire with the sun out. Can you KO the Ogre Pond at least? Oh, so close to KO in the Flutter Man. So close to KO in the Flutter Man. I think Light Screen turns are ending. I think it's... Yep. Oh, ho, ho. oh, no. Luckily, we still have Reflect up. Grassy Terrain is gone. So Grassy Glide cannot fly through here, which is pretty massive. You could Horn Leech me. This is where things get real tough. Real tough. So this is what I want to do. I definitely want to go for a flamethrower into the slot. And then I just hyper voice. Yeah, we're just going to hyper voice here. Oh, dude, this match coming down to the wire. Our opponent's playing really well here. Really, really well. Really, really well. But we're going to hyper voice here. He's going to end up shadow balling you. Are you doubling down into the turtle? That's the real question. That KO'd without the light tree. Yeah. Oh no, yeah, that's game. You gonna horn leech me, huh? Can you miss? Can you miss your horn leech? That'd be real nice. Grassy glide. We should soak this grassy glide. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Does hyper voice double KO? Oh, it's in the sun. It's in the sun. It doesn't even pick up any KO. It doesn't pick up any KO. Alright, hold up. No, we lost. We lost. It's game. It's game. I should have protected it. I should have protected, but it reflects out here. Nope, that's game. 
Dang, so Sun doing a sturdy. I don't think that would have KO'd the Ogre Pond. But if it would have if it only had Grassy Guy, we would have won this match. But still, our own Sun doing a sturdy. We're just gonna run it. GG's to our opponent there. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, two and one, another winning record video for the channel. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. We rocked out with Torterra, played really well with them in match number one, and especially in match number two. Match number three, solid match on both ends. Our opponent actually played really, really well, so huge shout out to him. Give me a nice little whooping, but still, I think that was a great match all around. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.